everybody. Starting this stream off with two requests from two weeks ago. This was, this is Crash Speed. Albert requested this one. And the next one I'm going to be playing is a Yorga request. I have never played this game before, so we'll see how it is. This is the only one that I play in that came out that came outside of Japan. Uh, I don't know Bean TV. I guess this one uses the um the button config. Okay. Uh, hello there, Chris. YTPS. Turn vibration on. This will do normal mode. Like I said, I've never played this before, so. It looks like it's like a beat em up, maybe? We'll find out. Here's all the characters. Let's see. Um, I guess we'll just be the red. This guy. E.G. Garland. PlayStation 1 is your favorite console ever. Okay. Cool. Oh, okay. I thought the game in front was like hung up or something, but I guess not. Eh, we don't care about the cutscenes. Let's just get into the game. I already forgot the. I already looked at the controls, but I already forgot them. So let's figure out as I go. Rear upper deck. Go to parking deck. Oh, it's like it's just like a 3D, like a, like a 3D beat em up. Like this one plays like a 2D beat em up. Okay, circles jump. Is triangle? Yep, it's triangle's a special move. Oh, I can get behind. I think I can get behind this. Can I dash? Nope. Oh, I can. Okay. All right, can I punch this? To get something out of it. I guess not. This is called Crisis Beat. This came out for the PS1. It looks like the character from Shinbu, though. Like Ryu. I can pick up items. I guess I gotta go. Oh, I see. I got like a cutscene.
Oh shit, I got a machine gun. <laughs> it's pretty amusing. Kind of a weird way to use it though. I guess it's like a one-time thing. Alright, how do I use this? Okay. That's how you, okay, that's how you throw them. Use the X button. And the um, square, um, uses the attack. Have you seen my friend Don Kingsley? Yeah, I've seen Don Kingsley. He's left the comments. On one of my video, on a couple of my videos. bad for kicking a dog, but hey, it's attacking me, so whatever. Oh, I can pick chair. Oh, okay. I guess I can't pick him up, but it's going to like the next area. He's a good dude. Okay. This is not. Yeah, no, this is not. Oh, I gotta wait for him to come to the elevator. Oh, I miss. Yeah, but like zooms in. Why is it zooming close when I pick stuff up? Like, I can't see where I'm throwing it. Damn, this is that dog like dying. This sounds awful. Like a lot of a lot of load screens though. I've noticed. It does. Yeah, kind of. But this one reminds me even more of like a traditional beat-em-up. The way, like the punches and kicks and stuff. I don't know. But on a 3D plane. Like Die Hard Arcade plays. Kind of, that one plays a little a little bit different from a 2D one. but Because this one feels like a lot snap. This one feels snappier in my opinion. Like the combat and stuff. That's cool. Slide and kick. But this one doesn't have all the weapons. What the hell? See, like, what the hell was that? Like, the fuck? He just, like, swings it around and just, like, I guess I gotta, like, time it just right. Oh, now I can do a like, continue. Don't have to, like, go to another load screen. The only thing is that you do have a limited move set. You only have like a, a punch and a kick and um, the special move. That's not even a crowd control either. Uh oh, I need to figure out if there's, I can get some health at some point. And you lose your attacks when you move to a different area. Oh, so they, they didn't translate the text for the European version. Well, they did translate the text, but they let the same voice, Japanese voices in. That's interesting. I don't, I don't really don't care. It's a beat em up. Nobody plays beat em ups with their plots. What's up, Luke and Bob Newbin? This Bean TV. Yeah, no, he does. He does. <laughs> well, 
Uh, what's up, Dean? <laughs> I know you haven't commented yet, but... <laughs> yeah, I think I might know who Bean TV is. If he's asking me about Don Kingsley. I, ha I have a feeling. I don't know, just... I could be wrong, but what's up, Don? There's there's Don Kings. I was just talking about you. <laughs> you wouldn't happen. You don't know Bean TV, do you, Don Kingsley? You would you wouldn't know him, just any relation or anything. <laughs> Who's Lord Morpheus? Oh, what's up, Dean? Hello there, Cheetah Man. I am Lord Morpheus. Who's Lord Morpheus? <laughs> he is from the series called Sandman. Sandman? Yes, Sandman. I ain't never heard of that before. It is on Netflix. Oh, it's okay. also a comic from DC. That was from 1989. Oh, I got gotcha. you. What's he saying? Bean TV, seen that account around. I try to be good. Yeah, you were, you were on Albert's chat off panel an awful lot yesterday, Kingsley. <laughs> so, what are you up to, uh, Ward Morpheus? I don't know. I just got finished watching The Sandman. Oh, so, oh so you're off today? Yep. Oh, yeah. It's been a boring ass day. Even though I made that fucking song. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> when are you gonna post yeah, when are you gonna post it? Oh, well, iTunes has to run it through the ringer, and it's coming out April 26th. Oh, April 26th. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. What's up, Yorgo? I'm going to be playing your game next that you requested the other week. That um Angel game or whatever. I'm playing Albert's request right now. This one's pretty, this game's pretty cool. What did he request? This the is, Angel of West. It's some, like, Japanese, it's some Japanese game. Oh, of course it is with Yorgo. Yeah, there really hasn't been much going on. Like, I've been watching, like, YouTube, but, like, other stuff. Not really, like, really to you all, the community. I am not in Darius. Yeah, you've said, yeah, you've told us that. Apparently, you've told Albert that, too. Yeah, and you were also on Darius Truxton's community post disrespecting Albert. Oh, boy. We have eyes everywhere. Intel on you, King of All Buttons. Yeah, he was. He commented on a couple of my videos. I think yesterday. Mm, he comments and comments. <laughs> Eight bit Eric was very rude to Don Kingsley. Uh oh. Good. <laughs> what else is? Crisis Kicks. Yeah, this is a cool game, Yorgo. I've never played it before, but. Like, I wish I would get Wait, to... you're going to play that Crisis game again? The one where you raged? No, I'm playing the game Crisis Beats, the one Albert requested. Like, the, it's like a. Beat, oh, it's that a, one. It's a 3D. Yeah, yeah. It's like a beat em up. Oh, okay, okay. I was about to say, don't play that one game. You raged. <laughs> oh, you know what? You could have uh, watched that last, I think it's Satara game or movie, Centura. Centura? I don't know. You showed off the whole shebang yesterday on your. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. I'll. I no. I was watching um Hard Target again. I wanted something short, and so that movie's only like an hour Hard and a half. Hard Target. Again. I've, I saw that one last year. Once. Yep. Just wanted to watch something short. So. 
I, I didn't watch anything at all yesterday. Because of all like the live streams, but today's been pretty quiet, so. That gave me a chance to watch something. Cody Bell takes you two way too seriously. Oh boy, yeah. He's mad right now. Me or you? And of course I'm winning. I don't live in a shoebox. What? <laughs> oh, did you see his um, 100 sub extravaganza video? No, I saw y'all talking about that on Twitter. I was like, oh, uh, he wasn't even like he was barely. He kept getting distracted by every, by the TV. He had the TV on for some reason. Plus, his cat kept dogging stuff down. I mean, it's like, and he thinks his stuff's acceptable Good. to upload. Like, I mean, like preview it yeah. first or something. Like, I mean, this, this is the guy that uploaded, uh, you know, the moon, so oh, to speak. Oh yeah, right. It's just like, don't pay attention to this stu stuff. Yeah. And the funny thing, he likes to criticize others on their content. Like, you don't know how to make good content. No, you don't know. Yeah. God. <laughs> right? I mean, he, he, it's like a five minute up, like a six minute upload that should have taken him like two minutes to knock out. Because he kept getting, like, why would you have the TV on when you're trying to talk about something? I don't really, like. I don't know. That's just, that's just beyond uh, dude, bizarre. you got this rendered at 4K, don't you? No, I think it's I think I do something. It's over, above 1080. It's 1600 by 1275. But yeah, I got this up pretty high. Yeah, I'm noticing the polygon, which is very smooth. Oh boy. Not making it run slow or nothing? No, it's 100%. But the game only runs at 25 frames per second. So, oh okay, I, I was wondering. Cause I play in the, I play in the, I got the European versions. It's in English. Yeah. Now they could be bit heads, one hundred subscribers. Man, sure. look at that! That dude is smooth. Oh my gosh, his monocle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm just skipping past all. You got it turned up. Oh boy. I'm just playing the game. I'm skipping through the cutscenes. It's a beat em up. Nobody plays those for the story. Who plays a beat em up? Well, Last Luke, time I saw a beat em up being played was Luke. Luke, I was about to like, say, yeah, Luke plays Adam Weed up stream. He was playing, what, what was it, Night Slashers or something? Yeah, I think, I think I've think i streamed that one before. Seems like it at some points. Yeah. No jacket. <laughs> yeah, it looks, Yorgo it misses looks, the jacket. <laughs> yeah, it looks great, does it, Yorgo? All upscaled. I say it does. There's some games that don't need to be upscaled. If you ever tried some on the N64, it's a mess. Well, it's this just some. Of them. Yeah, it's those textures. Like a PS1 has decent textures for the time, so that's why it looks better, in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, it has, like, the texture warping, but it's better than just being, like, Albert says, you know, like, being covered in Vaseline, like the N64. Like, have the screen covered, or however he put it. Jagged is, is not a band. They don't play any instruments. Corrected. Corrected. Have you, did you play anything today? Of notes. I did start off on some just to see if it worked. I finally got Phantom Breaker Extra to work. PS3. Anyone knows about that. For the PS3. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that would be the up you was playing with your kid. That looked awful. Is that like is Dude, that the only move in the game? Like just throwing stuff? That's the only move. Oh, there's no way. That's just like that makes balls three D look decent. That says, that says, at least that game has moves. <laughs> oh, boy. That, it was grueling. That, that first match, easily 30 minutes. I had to do a bunch of cuts. 30, yeah, I stopped watching after a while because I was like, is this it? Like, this is awful. Like, 30 minutes? Like, I'm surprised the kid held out for that long. 
Oh, he really wants a W in this stuff, so yeah. <laughs> mm. That's awful, though. Like, just 30 minute, Like, a 30-minute match in a fighting game? Like, it's that's acceptable for, like, wrestling, maybe, but I like, don't like a one-on-one yeah, -on -one fighter. Or at, least, at least wrestling, you got, like, a million different moves. Well, depending on what the game is. Well, the 3D ones you do. Anyway. Yeah, even in wrestling, you have a time limit somewhat. Ex yeah, the yeah, that game needs to have a time limit too, clearly. Just whoever has the most health wins at the end. Yeah, and apparently that game is based off of manga slash anime, so. It looks, yeah, it looks like it, the graphics are anime ish. Uh oh. What's up, Lewis? Hey, what's going on, guys? Hello. How's it going, Lewis? I still don't know who the fuck that's supposed to represent, but whatever. <laughs> I don't know either. It's just a voice I make. I'm sure it is. Ah, uh, so look, look, who, look who's here. Oh boy. So like you have a frog in your throat. Oh, I want to get that fixed. No, I don't have a frog in my throat. Ribbit, I mean, what? Alright, Dawn, you, gotta say, you got anything to say? Welcome to the buttocks march. Oh, he's got the. Let me get the private chat. I can't even see that. Why does it, he's asking? Why does it Dean like me? You, know, you can ask this, and you're not banned on my channel, so you can like ask it in the chat, regular chat, if you want to. Don yeah. Easily. Yeah, I saw you. I think I take everything yeah. so super uber serious. Get on, Mike, and gargle some more. <laughs> yeah, gargle. Well, I think he was, was drowning, though. Y'all think he was gargling? I don't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> what actually happened? What are you talking about? Oh, Darius Truxton said Dean betrayed him. Oh, boy. I left because he was <laughs> racist. What oh, he, know, he knows. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and, then after that, and then after that, Darius said that he was a snowflake. Yeah, oh. correct. <laughs> That's when it all went downhill from there. <laughs> he has some shit, man. Oh, man. So, so not liking somebody for their racist action makes you a fucking snowflake. Who knew? I guess so. Um, blame me for having morals. I, don't know. I thought I got banned here. No, you're not banned. Cheetah Man really bans anybody, though. It's been a while, except you know. Carl. Yeah, except Carl. I didn't ban Carl, I just told him to go away. And he did. <laughs> he tried to get well, on one of my- Cheetah Man, it's really the same difference. Well, what'd y'all think of that picture in the Twitter, though? That, that was just, good lord. Like, his boobs, what the f- those boobs, like, that what before. the f- We've seen that all the time. I what have, the, at what least. What the f- I haven't seen that one well, before, like- it's like you he's have, uh, wow. not that all picture. I say, all I can say is that after seeing that picture, all the newborn babies in Haiti would definitely not go hungry with all the milk he has produced. <laughs> you weren't even banned. You were timed out. Know the difference. Would you like another time out? I am your inspiration. <clears throat> Yeah, what is that all about? Eh? Yeah, what is this all about? It's crisis beat or something. Let's see. Lewis, you weren't even here, Lewis, when Cheetah Man raised on that one game, were you? What game would that have been? It was Crisis something. I, the Incredible Crisis, I think. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm interested now. What set you off the rails with that one, Cheetah? <laughs> from one rager for a, from one rager to another. I couldn't beat one part, but I did on a video though. Yeah, I think it still you did on a video, but how long did you have to practice that? I actually, did I actually didn't practice that much. 
believe it or not. Oh, dude. Weren't you on the live stream playing that and you were just like, ah, oh, 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 and then you made like a video. Yeah, I made, I made the video like shortly later. What do I have to do to get... Well, Albert, I don't know. Albert doesn't know how to do that because he like to unban people on his phone. Listen, what was, uh, what, what was your level of frequency? Was it about... It was about the same level as I reached when I when I was playing that bullshit fucking staging gargoyles. I wasn't playing it for that long, for like doing the same <laughs> part for like thirty. No, not that. Not like thirty minutes. No, I wasn't that bad. I don't do that. I give up a little quicker. <laughs> she the man took the Lord's name in vain several times. Oh, uh, you should repent then, Cheeto. I think mean, Father, yeah, we're, yeah, where's Father Albo? I need to, like, confess to him. Father Albo! <laughs> Who needs Father Albo? Who needs Father Albo? You got Pastor Dean Oh, right yeah, here. Pastor Dean. I forgot about Pastor Dean. Oh, yes. Because yes. I'm not a Catholic yes. anyway, so Father Albo could do much for me. Absolve him. Absolve him of his sins, then, Pastor Dean. Rebuke him in the name of Christ. Father Albo, I have him. Hallowed be thy name. I rebuke Jedeman's sins when he took your name in vain. Please forgive him, Lord Father. Thank you. Amen. Uh, what's going on in the chat? Let's now, see. Um... Your, soul has, your soul has been cleansed, Cheetah. How do you feel now? Oh, I, I feel about the same, I guess. Damn. This dude just <laughs> messed me up. <laughs> <laughs> It's a while for the cleansing to take effect. What's going on? Let's see. Um, Luke well, says, BTV is attacking Lewis. So. Yeah, I saw that. Luke's saying, but it's not about your kid, Lewis. He's talking about your curl. He's saying, like, well, how much gel well, do you I know, use I know. your he's, uh, curl? He, he, he's gay for me, just like he's gay for all of us in this chat. He must not have his dose of H today. Oh, Yorgo's you saying, know. carp. Racing Friday, Luke. Or cart racers all the time. Yeah, there we go. Well, there's plenty. There's enough cart racers you can play, Luke, if you wanted to. I mean, that being TV guy, I'm not even worried about him because I know he secretly gave her every single one of us. So we pretty much already have him figured out completely. I'm not sure if that's Tommy or not. It may it be, is, but that is. It is. Are you thinking? I don't like, know. Kyo, you always know. You can always like sniff out a Kyo account from like a country mile. Plus, it's lame AI art. <gasps> and plus, if he says like the gayest shit, which he pretty much always does, then you know it's him. I was listening to that Albo stream back. He had to say the same thing twice. I'm going to leave before Dean gets here screaming. I'm going to leave before Dean. I'm like, dude, okay, just leave. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just want you to let you know that I, I never called your workplace. I never called Dean's workplace. Okay, I'll never... I'll never mess with you guys again. You know, I just wanted to let you know I'm sorry. Okay, now I'm just gonna get out of here before Dean starts screaming at me. <laughs> that, dude was, that dude was such a fucking pussy around Dean. Dude, how many cart games are there? Because I can't think of any except ones with uh, well-known licensed characters. Like well, there's, Sonic, there's, there's um, the, there's the um, Mario. yeah, there's the Mario, there's the um, Sonic. I think Pac-Man has one. There's the Mickey Mouse one for the N64. I think Eminem's. Oh, even, I think even Eminem's has one, if I'm not mistaken. And I think Shrek Eminem. has one. So there's all sorts. There's the Nickelodeon ones Shrek too. So does have one. See, that's what I'm talking about with well-known licensed characters. Yeah. Well, there's BC racers, I guess, if that counts as a kart racer. But I don't think Luke cares for that one. BCB kart racer. BC racers. Okay. Uh, they also did a Fast and Furious racing game, didn't they? We're talking about kart racers. Yeah, we're talking about fun. All right, I'm gonna play. All right, you are going to play your game next. This one's cool though. Crisis beats. I downloaded this damn Midnight Club for a PS3. It sucks. Oh, it sucks. Yeah, I think I've heard of Midnight Club before. What's the name of? Oh, this it one? was a good franchise, but ugh. Oh yeah, Katsuo, 10K, the rest of the What the heck? You got it. Oh, this is how Duck Station format looks. So, 
Okay. You bring it up uh, car races like uh, Mario Kart and all that stuff. Wait, did you also bring up uh, Diddy Kong Racing? But that's yeah, that's well, on Nintendo. Like Dean said, that's got well-known characters too, so. Yeah, I was trying to think of something like um, RC Pro-Am Kart Racer. I don't know. There's probably some shovelware out there with that. It's got like different original characters. Okay. I would imagine. Uh oh, Japanese. I don't know what this. I don't know what any of this means though. But you just gotta go with the first one. Well, Get the first the, the, No, it was it was the second one. The first one didn't do. It kept taking, bringing me back to the same thing. Oh. oh, oh. Well, it's high tension comical action game. Like, this is a Yorgo one, so I have no. I've never played this in my life. I don't know what any. Nineteen ninety eight. I guess be cool. I guess we're playing with default settings. We'll just figure. I'll figure it out as it goes. Oh, it's a girl game. I got another girl game too. I downloaded like anime characters, like a platformer. I got a few girl games. I guess I'll be uh, the one with the sword. Wait, let me read this. Uh king comment wait you preach about not being racist but you all are homophobes so much for our hypocritical morality lord morpheus just kidding i could care less yeah that's something king would say <laughs> who is a homophobe please tell me yeah i'm skipping the cutscene Jorgo. Yeah, that's the type of shit king would do say shit that nobody knows what the fuck he's even talking about no, Lewis doesn't like me. He thinks I'm king of all buttocks. So a lot of people do, Don Kingsley, so. Oh, is this a Seth brother? Look, Don Kingsley, we don't think. We know. No, your microphone isn't broken. You were talking very well last night on your voice changer. Yep. And you were broadly pretty fucking clearly as well. Yeah. And Come you on, guy, aren't you like over 50? Come on. <laughs> I guess I. Oh, that's just a. Oh, that's a big old spear. I think I only. This game will use like three buttons, though. You got the jump, the attack, and like a special. It looks like it. Mm. Is it a port then? I have no idea. Oh, almost fell. Facing the giant flower. At least it looks like I get plenty of health. Sure. Who's the evil twin, Dawn or Bean? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Your go. I am not evil. Okay, we'll go with that. Dawn is cool in my book. Yeah, well, Luke likes Ricardo Cody, so I'll tell you about that book. Well, Ricardo needs. He doesn't have too many friends around here, so. Other than. <laughs> is there not a reason? Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. But uh... <laughs> uh -oh. oh snap! Amigo poop vlog returns. Oh, on Ward fish whips. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got, we got, oh boy, gotta watch that one after this then. <laughs> God only, God only knows what he's talking about. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? Oh, I can do a double jump too. That's cool. You're just jealous. Oh, jealous that you can have that burden. Oh, that guy just swiped you. Ooh. Yeah, no. So, what have you been up to today, Lewis? I must be away from the microphone. 
Lewis is probably what I'll go with the first one. So, where did you go? Uh oh, are you facing... Who is that? I would say Ty Piper, but where's the flu? Oh! Yeah, I'll be honest, Yorgo, I think I like the Crisis Beat game better than this. I guess it's a little, a little repetitive. It's not that bad, though. Oh, what's up, Doshin? Doshin, come up here, man. <laughs> Join in. What the heck? Record, yep. Level 1 online records himself taking a dump. What a weirdo. Oh, I don't lose. I don't die. Wow, when I fall down. Hmm. Lewis is muted. Yeah, I figured he was. What oh, are yeah. those? Are those three bees at the bottom of your special move? I think they are, yeah. Yeah, they are. Very colorful. Oh, I see what I have to do, I think. Or not. Oh, that doesn't do anything. Oh, look at this hill. Got double jump. Like DJC. There you go. Now, Yorgo, does Reggie like this game or not? Oh, Don left us. Shame. You may be getting an AI voice ready or something. Possibly. That's Japan is so weird. Jellyfish is. <laughs> oh, I think I picked the wrong option because now I gotta find another one. Oh, who's this old pervert? That doesn't do much damage on the bosses. I mean, I guess it's more for like clearing out regular enemies. It sure doesn't do enough damage. Oh look, Dashin doesn't want to come up here. Okay. Oh, he doesn't have to. He does I guess Evie took the tablet away. I don't think we're anybody special. You gotta be special. Yeah, you're probably right. We gotta say Dosh and Boobin a hundred fucking times. No, we need Dosh and Poopin in here. Tell him to get on. What do you think about Dun Kingsley comment, Dosh and Noobin? I've been ordering a lot of um, Blu-rays the past couple of days. Really? You got your taxes back already? I should have by now. Yep. Cause I did mine a couple. I did mine a couple weeks ago. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah I did I, mine like uh, what Sunday. I got uh, accepted. Yep. I was putting mine off because I don't know. I don't. I don't feel like that shit takes time, and I'm just too lazy to do stuff like that but i did it eventually so just get it over with what service did you use i used some free i used a free one oh you use, okay because i've seen those like they suggest those uh yep. i That's use tax level yep i used um what's great the one i used like i used the same one from last year so i remembered all my um information from before and thankfully, like, to get, like, the login information wasn't that hard either. That's what I was worried about, just forgetting that, but that wasn't an issue, so. Got it mm -hmm. over with, and yep. Got it all ready to go. Got it. Take your hours upon hours. 
No, not really. Just I just didn't feel like doing it for the longest time. Oh, okay. You know, because like t I guess typing in numbers is hard. And reading, oh, well, reading pieces some of people paper. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> three? You got three jobs? Wait, no. I don't see. I don't have three jobs. No. Oh, okay. I was about to say, wow. Sort of say, if I had three jobs, I wouldn't be have time for this stuff. Unless it was three well, part-time I mean, jobs. It was just three part-time jobs, which I know some people. Well, have. not not on that. It's like um, let's see. Like what I do, I got my job job. Then I got eBay, which is so lame yeah, that you gotta do this with eBay. And you got your YouTube too. Yeah, yeah, but the eBay one—that's the one because you got the valuable you stuff. Don't... Yeah, you know what you've been doing. How long have you been doing comics anyway? Like selling them? Um, probably about three years now. Oh, three years. Yeah, I imagine I, been... I had the eBay account forever though. I imagine you've been collecting longer than that. Well, no, nah, there was a time I stopped. Just like there was a time I stopped on gaming. Like the whole PS2 era, I missed out on. And I got you... stopped at N64, then came back on PS2. PS2. The ass end of PS2 at that. So, like, basically, like 2005, 2006. That, that would have to be around 2007 or 2008 or 2009. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would say 2007. 2007. Yeah. Because yeah. wasn't the PS3 already out by that time? Around 2007? PS3 was, 2000, was 2006. Yeah, but... Hmm. I remember... I want to say the PS2 came out. 2000, 2002? I think. No, I think it was 2000. Oh. It was the first yeah. one. Because I know GameCube and Xbox were 01. Okay. You know, you probably like 2000, yeah. Because I got a PS2 for Christmas, I want to say in um, 2001. Okay. Yeah, I remember, because that was like the second DVD thing we had, because... My parents have got a DVD player before that, and I think they got that in 2001. If you're talking about the PS2 being released in 2001, it's true it was. No, I was saying it came yeah. out in 2000, but I got mine in 2001 as like a Christmas present. Yeah, 2000, yeah, because I saw a video of the PS2 on launch day, and that was around 2000, so yeah, it was around that time. <laughs> All right, sorry, dick pic, but we can't see you. So, but except what was is that probably, a dick pic? I don't know what, what is that. I don't. I think it is. I was like, what the fuck? Lewis, you got corrected vision. What is that? You would need a magnifying glass for sure. And, I, and right now, I wish I didn't have fucking correct vision. Is that Carl? I mean, is that what looks like? Blah. Is that what Carl's dick looks like? Is it so like that small? <laughs> Well, for Carl, you, for Carl, well, you, you need a magnifying glass. <laughs> but this shit, no, this shit's not too far off. It's almost, it's almost infant-like. It might even qualify as a fucking mangina. <laughs> I don't even know. <coughs> oh, he's saying, yeah, it's me, Carl. So it is Carl. What's up, Carl? Oh, man. We so how's the Opal Palace doing? Is that getting any growth on that one? I might need a new prescription now for this shit. <laughs> this <laughs> <laughs> now he's saying, lo he's saying loads of girth. <laughs> this might have fucked up my vision. <laughs> Who's oh. this guy with the lobster claw? Oh my god. I don't, I don't know. Looks like got gardening shears or something. Oh, he left. He left Lewis, so I think you're good. <laughs> yeah, he has a mullet too. A mullet. Yeah, that guy Cheez is fighting right now. Oh, he just exploded. Okay. Like, what kind of mullet are we talking about? We talking about um. The not good kind of mullet that slicked back. Oh, uh, I see. 
that mullet, so we probably. Yeah, y'all tell me what the hell this is supposed to be. Or I don't, most why I can't see in the ding can. Like, I don't have a clue. Oh, wow. I don't know what that is. You should use your bombs on it. I just did. Oh, okay. Because yeah. you're about to die. Look back, Muller. All I can think about was fucking... What? I don't know, looks like Muller, all I can think about was Tatanka. I can be... I better... Um... I was gonna say, what was he, like, blocking your microphone? Because... I couldn't really hear that all that well. I must have. Uh, oh, Carlo Costa must have been fucking switching mine again. It sounded more like a. It sounded more like a tin can. It sounds better now though. Uh, now we got Walker. Oh, Carl's here. What's up, Carl? Oh shit. <laughs> I'll let I'll let people look at this one if they want to. I can't even figure out which is more disturbing. <laughs> that was a fucking epic. I don't know. Look at those boob tits, though. Holy shit. Like, I've never seen anything like that. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's... Oh, my God. I'm telling you, those... Those fucking movies, those movies could feed a whole basket of kittens. Oh, uh, right. Exactly. Like, why would he post... Why would he post that? Unless he has no shame. <laughs> With that, with that picture, he'd be, a, he'd be a major hit on Grinder. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, but this is a cool game, though, um, Yorgo. I'm gonna move on to something else. I will say this, it's not like... I haven't died yet, though, so... But I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop now before, you know... Last words. Famous last words, as they say, or whatever. What else was I going to do? I got some more stuff. Like, not requests, but just, um... I guess I'll do this, um... What's this Grand Dog game called? Yeah, Chu Ko Kotsen, um... This is the other... I want to uh, go ahead. I wonder what a picture of King is going to come back up with next. Who knows? <laughs> it's going to be something car related. Possibly. <laughs> Carl's hemorrhoid. Carl's hemorrhoid. What the fuck? Oh, Lord. He's, like, we've seen the micro PB, we've seen the movies. What's next? The hemorrhoid. And we seen Carl on the toilet, um, last night, or in the bathroom. Oh, That's... that fucking poor toilet. I didn't. What happened on. That Where was, was a... that? That was on. No, Albert's channel. You know, on his stream, Carl in the bathroom. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't see that. Dude. Can you, <laughs> can you hey, it's another grill game. <laughs> can you imagine the destruction of that toilet right there? That toilet must need hydraulics or something. Hold it's it gotta be up. strong. <laughs> I'm guessing this is like... This game is based off like maybe an anime or something. Because it's got like the cut. Looks like it's just from like an anime or whatever. I would say so. I don't care about the cutscenes though. I'm gonna see what this. I've never played this one either, so we'll just see what this is about. Okay, I don't care about any of this shit. I just want to play the game. You ever played this one? Um, anybody in the chat? Well, it's like a like a like a running gun sort of thing. What year is this? 93? 4? 97. 97. What else can I do? Oh, I got like a, a grappling hook. 
I don't really know what that does. I'm wondering, those bars at the bottom, are those for the hold down and charging? I'm going to find oh, out. Man. No, that hold down the square button, you just shoot. Circle doesn't do anything. Triangle. Oh, I guess I could. I don't know what that does, but. And, um. R1 brings his grappling hook, and you can just, like, swing. Mm hmm. I guess. I don't know how. It's not swinging very well, though, but. Uh oh. I guess I gotta use the hook for this one. <laughs> yeah, that's what you got. That's what you gotta do. Yep, to zip from one spot. Jump is like not that great though. Like I'm just like, I can't even get up here because like, there we go. <laughs> you keep on landing in it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the jump. Like the jumps up. Jump is not that great this game. Like control wise. I'm about dead, too. What is this? Oh, damn it, you see, like... I'm assuming I can use that to get up here. Yep. Alright, let me see. I just want to get that. I'm not even going to worry about it. I don't think I'm going to be playing this game that much longer anyway. I don't know how I feel about the, just the, the jumping is just... Okay, I continue. But do I have to start back from the beginning, though? Oh, I don't, I don't think. Or, no, I do. Let's see what's over here. Oh, that charged up. That charged something up, Dean. Whenever I collected that mm -hmm. item, collected that item, but like I don't know what. Oh, I see. It's um L um L one. You do like a special attack. Mm. Oh, okay then. Yeah, I'm moving on this. I'm gonna see these. I'll check these other ones out. I don't know how I feel about that. What else do I got? I gotta remember what. We'll do um. Where's this? Hermie Hopperhead? Another Japan only game. I was just going through a um a website. I just like. Listen, did all the Japan only platformers to see if there's anything worth playing or looked, worth, looked like it was worth playing or not for a stream I was doing that the other week I think Hermie Hopperhead <laughs> Real triple H. I think this is one of those that, like, some magazine, like, talked about a lot. Because I've heard of this game before. I think it was, like, Game Fan or something like that. Hmm. Oh, he's coming out of the garbage. I mean, the hit detection is pretty questionable, though. It's one of those where you have to, like, mash a button to, like... You can't just, like, jump on it. You have to, like, mash a button, too. Or it doesn't, like, register. Ooh, one hit and you go back. Let me figure out what these other... Ah, oh, see. The L1 holds the eggs in place. It looks like they can just attack everything, though. Yeah. Ah, damn, that didn't work.
Oh, wow. Yeah, no. There we go. Yeah, just the hit detection is not that great, is what it is. You have to be like right on him or it doesn't really count. Did you ever used to watch Garfield and Friends? A long time ago. Oh, speaking of Garfield. Remember... Now go, no, go ahead. I was, I was just uh, saying, do you remember the second part of Garfield and Friends where it had them barnyard animals? No, I do not. Well, there was one of them. I want to say his name was Shelton. But kind of what those eggs remind me of. I haven't seen that cartoon in so long. What's up, Luke? I remember back when we used to get it. Hey, uh, something's up with your YouTube. Like, I can't comment, so if nobody's commenting, like, something's going on. Really? <gasps> I see it. Huh. Yeah, keep saying it. I'm not sure. Let me check, it. Let me check the stream real quick. Because it looks like it's um, working okay. Like, I tried commenting on Tony's stream, and I was able to comment just fine, but I can't comment on your... Here, I'm going to turn this... I'll turn the um subscriber thing off and see if that helps. Yeah, whenever you turn that on is when it started doing that. It's I, I, it's been on, but it was on... I always said it for like an hour, though, so... Now it's working. Oh, it said connection got zapped? Yeah, I can't really see the comments from the... Oh, uh, you either. see... Oh, uh, really, Yorgo? I'm going to see... I'm going to go back through and see if it's still playing it or not. No, it was. It's still play. It's still showing it in the live stream. The fuck? It's still showing the comment. No, it's still. It's showing the um. It's showing the gameplay. So it was like streaming fine. That that's weird. Yeah, the game's working just fine. I, it's just I can't comment. Yeah, well, comment. Yargo can comment. I don't. You should be able to comment because you're a mod, Luke. Like I don't get that. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. It's so internal error for some reason. Dean can comment too. So. Hmm. Yeah, I can't see anything past uh, Don Kingsley's last comment, like where he tagged me. Have you tried um, starting the stream, like um, exiting the stream and coming back out? You know, like leaving the video? Are yeah, I actually, I actually restarted my phone and updated YouTube. <laughs> I have no idea, Luke. That's, that's very bizarre. Yeah, it's weird. Like I thought it was something just with my account, and I went to Tony's stream and commented, and it worked just fine. But nope, it's working fine. Um, very bizarre. Y'all talking about comic book people over there? Nah, he's playing Contra. Contra, the new one? Yeah, he started a separate channel to do game streams. Oh, okay, I guess. I didn't know that. I, me I remember when he was doing it on his regular, regular channel. Yeah. Oh, Yorgo says he kept getting errors too. And Doge, I don't Watch know. I don't know what I don't know what's going on because the video was playing yeah. just YouTube's I guess just yeah. but like I said I got the subscriber turned off so hopefully that'll help. Yeah, the game was fine. I just didn't comment. <laughs> oh, glad I'm glad you said something. What's also weird is that like usually when you're on panel you're able to see the comments. Yeah, yeah Lewis, it's because I'm doing a game. It's because I'm doing a gameplay stream. That's why you can't see it. Shot. Yeah, because I'm that's why I'm not I'm, if I were doing just a stream yard you'd be able to see it. You'd have to like go to the video. Yeah, Lewis. Alright, well I'll catch you guys later. I just wanted to like hop on and let you know. <laughs> well thanks uh Luke. You know Oh gosh, you gotta rush off? Oh. Yeah. Oh well okay. I gotta finish watching Fallout. Oh yeah, Fallout. Oh, wow. How how bad did that show suck? Uh, it's really good. Hopefully, like, it'll be as good as they really made it out to be. I've never I've never played through the games, but I really like the series though. Yeah, I've heard. Well, I've, I've, on demand on net. I've heard it's good. I've talked to people. Who, I've talked to people like who like like the games, and they really love the series too. Oh, like Hi in America. <laughs> oh yeah, I talk to them, I talk to them all the time. Oh, okay. I mean, you yeah, talk I, to everybody else, Luke. I just assume, but 
I'm uh, <laughs> going over to his house later. We're going to play some games on Twitch. <laughs> well, have fun. I'm going to play some arc. Going to going to play some arc with him co-op. Uh, well, we do that all the time already. Oh, nah, he'll play Conan Exiles. So. Oh yeah, Conan. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good enough? <clears throat> Did the same. Maybe subscribers off. Yeah, probably Yorgo. I'll just leave that turned off. It was only for like an hour though, so because I do that all the time and it doesn't have an issue. But anyway, it works now. So hold up, Luke. Before you go, yeah, you watch Fallout, but you don't watch the Last of Us series. I did watch The Last of Us. Okay, is it left on a cliffhanger? They renewed for another season? What is it? Yeah, yeah, they've already got season two casted. Oh. Like, yeah. yeah. Did, did that one guy die that you don't like? I mean, well, you did like, but you don't like that he died. He's not going to die for the second season. Are you sure? Yeah, because the second season's following the second game. Oh, is it? Oh, so she already met the, what was it, the Fireflies or something? I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. Because, I mean, like, were... at the end of the first game, he's supposed to break her out of that hospital, and they're supposed to go on their merry way, and he lied to her, and that was that. Uh, yeah, yeah, that happened. Oh, the, okay. Season one's just like the first game. Yeah, from what I saw in the first episode, yeah. Except episode three is really it goes pretty far out there. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I said it goes pretty far out there. Oh, okay. Well, don't let worry. The Riddler for Batman will die, and you'll be upset again. Do what? <laughs> what? That guy from he that guy who I think he played Joel. Yeah, he's from Riddler and Batman. You talk about, about, about Pedro. You talk about Pedro Pascal. That guy. You're talking, about, you're talking about the Mandalorian. He played that too. No, he wasn't in the bat. That was somebody different that was in the Batman. I thought. Different actor. Different. I That's think it Colin was. Farrell. Yeah, I was like, what? What are you talking about? Colin Farrell is Penguin in the, the Batman. He was the Penguin. Yeah. 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 Talking about Paul Dano. I think. I think. Yep. I think that's who. Yep. I think Wuss is right. Yeah. I was about to look it up. Yeah, but... his, his I'm is... looking it up right now. Yeah, if you're talking Wasn't about the Batman movie, that's who he is. His name oh, is Paul Dano. Dano. Oh, Paul Dano. Who the heck is this? Oh, oh, he looks sickening. Oh, I thought it was no, Jim Carrey. Was... No, no, that's 90s. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the worst one. <laughs> the worst one. He should have been the Joker. No, honestly. Jim Carrey? Jim Carrey made a great Joker, I think. I mean, I thought he was a good Riddler. Good Riddler. Of course he would have, because the dude is like... The dude has just about enough of that cartoonish energy to match the characteristics of Joker. Yeah. Like, he he can do really that face. Like yeah, but they wouldn't have brought him in as Joker. I mean, they were... That was... You know, continuing from the series, and they just killed Joker in the first one. Uh, well, I know this one. Plus, they would have—they could have like done it like if it. I think it would have worked if it would have been like a campier movie, like as the Joker, like Jim Carrey. I mean, he could have been like a different variant of Joker. Yeah, that's what Joker I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Or they could have did like in the comics and brought him back to life. I mean, the Joker's been many people though too. Jim Carrey's version of the Riddler was very campy enough as it is. It was like very like campy and cartoony and like um like ish and over the top, just like all of his roles. I don't. Same with uh, Tommy Lee Jones. Neither one of those guys really got the memo of how their characters were supposed to be portrayed. They were both over the top with their roles, very Joker-like. I've never seen yeah. Batman Forever, so I can't comment on that. Wow, I've only seen I've Joel. seen the I've seen the first two Burton films, but not the uh, not the other '90s ones. Mm. I mean, and Joel Schumacher just can't do it over the top. Leave it at that. Leave it at that. You don't want to see the rest. I don't Joel think so. I think you need to see Arnold as Mister Freeze. Oh yeah, I know he says <laughs> I, I know he says nice oh. to meet you. 
Oh yeah, if you want to see Arnold make some terrible ice puns, yeah. Time to cool off. I'll be back to freeze your town. <laughs> freeze in hell, Batman. Bye. <laughs> Now I almost want to. It's probably on like Max or something. Now I almost kind of want to watch it. Oh, it's on Max, yeah. Oh my god, just to <laughs> see how goofy it is. Is that gotcha. the one too where George Clooney has like the Batman credit card? Because I've seen that on yep. clips. Yeah, yep, that's it. Batman the, the, the bat nipples. Yeah, the bat nipples. Yeah. That was that was from the mind of Joel Schumacher. It was his fucking brilliant idea to come up with the fucking bat nipples. Yeah. Well, supposedly, which, which oh, one? Oh, mentioned the bat tits for Batgirl. Now, which one has the Schumacher cut? Is that um Batman and Robin or Batman Forever? The suppose I'm sure y'all have heard Batman of that before. Forever. Batman yeah. Forever. Forever, yeah. That that hasn't been released yet. Yeah, I know people have been wanting it to be released. But they may not. Fuck, I do. That's that's gotta be worth. That's gotta be much more worth the wait than the Snyderverse uh, cut. They may not. Snyderverse is great. I enjoyed that one too. This Justice League. It's who knows, pretty. Who knows how much better the Schumacher cut is? Hell, it might be a hell of a lot more darker and grim than what the fuck we got in the final cut. What is supposed I'm to be? A, what is supposed to be a dark movie at first until they changed it around yeah. to make it more oh, family dude. friendly? Yeah, dude. Like once Joel Schumacher got his hands on the, on the script, you know damn well he took he took the whole thing and pretty much made it into some some childish uh, kid friendly little film that they wanted, you know, the whole family to enjoy. But no, Tim Burton's version was way more darker. Yeah, because yeah, Burton was working on the third one originally. Yeah, but I think Warner Brothers yeah. probably changed it, I guess, because of, like, because I know they had issues with, like, merchandising with, like, the um controversy with that with Batman Returns with, like, whether like, McDonald's or something. Like, parents found out about, oh, yeah, like, the, how dark it was. Yep. Oh, yeah, the, oh, yeah, the Happy Meal toys, which eventually got scrapped. But, um, they, uh... <laughs> Yeah, they, they didn't um, realize that until, like, the last minute once they saw, like, uh, the, the gory elements of that movie and one of them involving, you know, a scene uh, where Penguin really bites off a fucking guy's nose. <laughs> yeah, this, this is the shit we're supposed to be committing. We're supposed to be, like, um, promoting to, like, the younger audience. Yeah, not exactly going to be a good look. No, that's not really. That, one, like, pushes the boundaries of, like, a PG-13 movie. Yeah, well, that was a great idea. I mean, that was a weird time, though, too, because, you know, you look at the first Turtles movies, like, it was, like, a really dark, and then they had to change all that up for the second one to make it more family-friendly, and they never actually <sighs> used their weapons for anything. Now, was it Golden Harvest involved with, like, the live-action Turtle movies? They're like, going to they're gonna make up for that now, because there's actually you know, an R-rated Turtles movie in the works. The Ronin one, I heard okay. about that, yeah. No, it's not. They oh, yeah. have Oh yeah. Talking about it. oh yeah, what's up, Volp? I know I haven't like said anything yet, but how you doing? That's just a dirty rumor. Yeah, I, I mean, with, with Nickelodeon owning the Turtles rights, I kind of doubt that will happen, honestly. Yeah, they'll probably do like a sequel to that Mutant Mayhem first. Uh, oh, they've got a series coming out. They were, they were making that into a series. That doesn't yeah. surprise me. Well, what the last animated series they had pretty stylized too, whatever it was called. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which one was that? The one the that came out. The... Yeah, was Rise the... of the Teenage Mutant Turtles was awful. Yeah, was that the one that Shane was in? No, you're talking about the Michael Bay movies. We're talking about the cartoons the series. Yeah. yeah. Um, Nobody talks about Michael Bay movies. Yeah, you are. You said something about Seamus. He was in the second one. Yeah, but I didn't know that was the Michael Bay one. I know there was a one where Seamus was in where he played, like, what, what was he, Rocksteady? Something like that, yeah. One or the yeah. other, yeah. Yeah, he was Rocksteady and the, the other dude, black dude with the pink mohawk. That was Bebop. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'd rather watch the Michael Bay Turtle films than the last animated series. It was weird. I tried giving it a chance. That movie on Netflix where Krang has sisters and brothers. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> now, I told you it was bad. I told you it was horrible. Now, yeah, you told me. Now, Dee, what did you think of the CGI series? I imagine you've seen it before. CGI that's the problem right there. That, that is the problem. Oh, that's the one Luke likes. 
Oh, Luke likes yeah, that one. Good, it's as good as the original series, in my opinion. <laughs> Luke likes. That, that's the problem right there. It's like too much CGI. That's why. That's why if you had to ask me what's uh which Ninja Turtles movie what I, what I prefer, I would stick to the original one back from the eighties and nineties. I'm talking about like the the animatronics, the old school way, fucking Jim Hen- Jim Henson. Yeah, people don't do that anymore, man. No, it's too easier to just too back expensive. Then it was, uh, yeah, yeah. Much more realistic back then. Nowadays, like, yeah. Too much CGI. See what I like. So what I like with the CG with the CGI series. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I was gonna say what I like with the CGI series is there's actually like a consistent story throughout the whole series. Like, it's not just every episode is its own thing. Like, it, there's a big arc throughout the whole series. There's a big arc through the series that happened later. Well, there might be, but that series was just terrible. Hmm. I don't think you give it a fair chance. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I watched like two or three episodes and that was enough. Oh, well. You got to do the five. If they can't catch your attention in the first one or two, there's no there's no chance. That's what my brother does with anime. He'll watch like the first few episodes. If he doesn't like it, he just dips out. I mean, if they can't catch you in the first couple of episodes, it the series doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, I agree with that too. Yeah, that's what I do as well. I'm just. Then it lasts for five seasons. What the CGI? No, no. The CGI one or the um the newest one? The the rise that no, he doesn't like. I think it was two or three, maybe. Two or three. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it. I don't think it went to three, honestly. Well, gosh darn it, this needs to be looked up. When's that Wrath of Mutant supposed to come out? What is it? You know that turtle game you were talking about that's ported. <clears throat> oh, it's... Um, I think next week. Last week? Next next week. Oh, next I think, week. Yeah, I think it's the 21st or 22nd. Damn, you are right. It was only two seasons. I mean, shit, it is awful. That ain't much. Yeah, that's that's a, pretty pitiful. It, it was so bad that they couldn't even sell action figures of it. I mean, they had them in stores. I remember seeing them in stores for like a few months, and then they were off the shelves completely. Well, I've seen the art yeah. style, and it doesn't look like something that really appeals to kids. It looks more like a young adult, one of those young adult type cartoons. It's so uh, weird. How does it look? Weird. It looks awful. You got Raphael, who's a bit, is he supposed to be a snapping turtle on this? or? It's really, yeah. it's really stylized, Lewis, like the, um, the last movie. <clears throat> Each turtle's different, like really like their own kind of different turtle and yeah, rap is a snapping turtle. Okay. Their whole personas are just really weird. Splinter is like a hippie. It's... Oh, God. So, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, he has a fro, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so yeah. It doesn't it doesn't like necessarily measure up. <laughs> it's just really weird. He has a fro. I mean nobody <laughs> liked how they pretty much uh Nobody really liked how they um, classified any of the characters in the last movie either. I mean, they made Steve Bob and Rocksteady into good guys. Uh, uh, Mondo Gecko, they made all those guys into good guys, and nobody understood why. Don't forget about Ray Filet. All of them? Yeah. Well, except for Superfly. Now, what, y'all, like the la- y'all liked the last movie, didn't you? I didn't like it. Or you didn't care it was it. all right for what it was. I don't know what's in Luke's Cheerios. Well, I didn't like it because, I mean, I took my daughter to it, and uh, like about halfway through the movie, she was ready to oh, go, yeah. and she was cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. You were telling me about this because what they had some kind of language, suggestive well, language. It wasn't because of that. She just wasn't into it. But, yeah, I mean, it was there was a lot of adult language in it for uh, for a Turtles cartoon. Oh, yeah, because Ice Cube was saying he'll whoop somebody. <laughs> yeah, I remember now. <laughs> yeah, Ice Cube was, uh, he was kind of like, say, he was kind of like talking in a way like Ice Cube would say, you know, the fucking, with the thugged out ghetto slang, that shit. Thugged out ghetto slang. Yeah, I can see that I'll be like appropriate for young children. It's supposed to be like a, a, P, it's supposed to be like a PG family film, so. Yeah, and they were kept talking about like probing and just like weird stuff. Like they they had that one stupid joke that they ran throughout the whole movie. 
Well, didn't Seth Rogen write that one or help write it or something? Yeah. Uh, I think he was actually. What was the one character. stupid joke? <sighs> oh, we know. Yeah, Seth Rogen. He was actually a character in that one. He was. No, yeah, he Rogen. was in that one. Yeah, was it Jackie Chan? Um, Splinter. Or some yeah. Character? Oh yeah. I mean, that was that was good casting right there. Oh, about milking, about milking and stuff like that. They were talking about that. Oh, like milking. Yes, yes. They did. Yeah, run they, the they started in the very beginning of the movie and like just ran with it the whole time. Wait, so that was like a like a running gag with, in that whole movie, milking? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't remember hearing anything about milking. I'm yeah. pretty sure they figured it out somehow. Milk, that sounds pretty, like milking, that sounds pretty weird. I mean, it, I mean, it I, sounds it sounds pretty sus. I mean, yeah. was it was it eventually like revealed what they meant by that? Well, uh, when the doors got captured, they mentioned it again. Nope. Yeah, they were. They said something about they were afraid they were going to get milked or something. Yeah. <laughs> that's just that's like fetish stuff, like trying to hide it. <laughs> Not very well that, either. That, that sounds kind of like an inside joke. Something they they probably had to do for a reason because of the younger audience. Probably, uh, yeah. yeah. I think it's Seth Rogen trying to throw in his Seth Roganness as much as he could and still make it a kids' movie. Yeah, I can't talk about yeah. weed, obviously, because it's turtles. Oh yeah. yeah, Seth Rogen, you know there's gonna be pot humor, guaranteed. But you know, I've seen like other like family movies with Ice Cube in it, and they didn't have. I didn't feel like as strong of language as was as this one. Yeah, what do you like some road movie? Like, are we there yet? I think I saw that when I was yeah. younger. Yep. Uh, yeah, that, I remember that one. Yep. And I was like, that would, uh, you're right. That one was pretty family friendly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Ice Cube, Ice Cube was still very much Ice Cube in that movie, but he, uh, yeah. he, he toned he it down. To, he managed to channel his, uh, his little family friendly persona a little bit better. Yeah, right. Your go. This is a pretty trippy game. I've never. I played a little bit of this one a couple of weeks ago, but not much. Yeah, like me and my daughter were were ready to leave the movie, and my wife was like, "Well, let's just finish it out and see how it ends." <laughs> yeah, let's finish it out. Yeah, might as well like get your money. Since you just paid all that money for the tickets, might as well just stick it out. I mean, there was a good message at the end, Luke. Like, not all humans are bad. I already know that though. <laughs> But the kid, but you know, but the kids might not. <laughs> I don't need Turtles to tell me that. <laughs> and Kevin Eastman played the good human. Oh. So that's cool. They got him to like voice one of the characters. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's not one I would ever watch again. Like I watched one time in the theater and, and wouldn't watch it again. So now, you're not going to watch the series? No. Huh. Now, Luke, have you seen the um the new Spider-Verse movie? Or the one that came out last year? Uh, no, I didn't watch that one. Oh, you haven't seen it? Yeah. What about you, Willis? Yeah. I think Dean I tried to watch it, but he couldn't get through it. Dude, it's so trippy. Like, it's more trippier than this game right now. <laughs> Say I'm lying. Somebody. It is. I no, I didn't. Anything. I can't say nothing. Yeah, I don't know. There was just I had no desire to watch it. Like I enjoyed it, but like it was only like part of a movie because there's like a second part coming out, and I think next year. Like it didn't feel. So they're making that like a whole trilogy now, the Spider Verse trilogy. It's like a saw. Yeah, yeah, this next one's gonna be I think I guess across the Spider Verse like part two or something. I don't know. That's why it is basically like this is like part one of like the thing. No, I think it's called Beyond the Spider Verse now. This next one. But yeah, it like picks up where the last one directly where the last one left off because like the last one has like a to be continued. At the end, of I it. really liked the first one. I thought it was really good. Yeah, I thought this one was. A, I thought this one was a little bit better. Hmm. The second one. Well, this one, this one was more like a Infinity War, and the one that's to be continued is supposed to be like the End Game. Yeah, because this one is leans in more into the uh, multiverse, way more compared to the last one. Like you have, Honestly, all, you though, have all the different spider, like, like way more types of Spider Man. Like I'm, I'm sick of everybody doing the whole multiverse thing though. Like everybody's playing it out way too much. I'm, I'm over like that whole kind of timeline, storyline stuff. Blame Doctor Who. 
Well, everything yep. you watch is in some kind of multiverse. Don everything Kings Don Kingsley universe. agrees with you, Luke. He's saying the art style's starting to wear thin as well. Yeah. I mean it was it was a pretty unique art style in the first one, but I mean they, I feel like they used that same kind of art style even with the Turtles movie. That's the thing that's the yeah. thing now, like this ultra stylized stuff. That's what's popular. Yeah. That's actually that's actually true what Luke said. Like like this whole multiverse shit has become such a redundancy. Like they've really been kinda of like playing it out way too much. Yeah, I mean, I think at this point in time, like, I'm just over the whole superhero movie thing in general. Like, I've seen too many. Yeah, it's a, it's a tad grab. Nobody, like, nobody nobody sees the superhero movies, like, in any other way other than just being, uh, like, some sort of, like, <clears throat> grab. That's all it is. It's a cash grab. Speaking of, Luke, did you watch 4 and 5 yet? Uh, Yeah. Yeah, we got caught up. Cool. Because tomorrow is 6. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I can't wait for it. It's... The series. What do you think, what'd you think about the end of five, Mona Me? <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I don't want to comment on it because I don't want to spoil it for anyone. I'm not going to watch it any time soon. I don't know about Lewis though. Were you sad, Luke? Were you sad? I mean, I I love I love Gambit, so yeah. I don't even, <gasps> I don't even, I don't even know what you, know what you guys are talking Joel about. Joel all over again. Oh gosh. <laughs> They're talking about X Men ninety seven. Oh, okay. oh yeah. yeah. The fact that you brought up Gambit, yeah, we know what it is. X Men '97. Yeah. <laughs> I with it on X Men '97. I haven't seen that one episode of that. Well, you're missing now. <laughs> and I think Luke will agree with me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I won't. I won't cop to that. It's it's a very good series, though. I, mean, I'm a, I really, with Disney I'm doing it, I, I didn't have any high hopes for it, but I, I've really been very pleased with it. Yeah, but aren't, is it because a lot of the people involved with the original series are back for it, like writers and stuff? It's not only that. They show blood. It's a, you could say it's kind of adult themed and stuff. Oh, so it basically, it's basically the original series, but grown up then, in a way. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, On episode with... four, did you not see the homage, Luke? With the X Men arcade game, yeah, in the Sega Genesis, I was like, yes. <laughs> oh, X Men the arcade. Wait, are we talking about the the one with Spider Man? No, we're talking about the X Men arcade with six characters: Dazzler, Nightcrawler, Colossus, Storm, Wolverine, and Cyclops. Yeah, the beat 'em up, Lewis. That one's based off the animated series, the Konami one, the one that never got like a console release until I think the Xbox. Oh. Oh, I thought we were talking about the other X Men arcade game, the one with uh, Spider Man featured. No, you you're think... thinking of Spider Man and the X Men arcades Revenge. Or he's thinking, I think he's thinking of like the beat em, maybe the what is, uh, the Capcom beat em ups too, maybe. Oh uh, yeah, that's that's the one I'm thinking about. Oh okay, yeah, that game. Oh, I the could... Marvel Capcom. I could. I tried the arcades Revenge. I couldn't get into it at all. Oh, yeah, it's rough. The music's like the only good part about it. All right, fellas, I'm going to hop off. Sorry. Yeah, you have a <laughs> we good night. We got spotted. Yeah, that's I stayed that's on longer than Yeah, <laughs> have a good night, Luke. All right, see you guys. See you. Yeah, I got caught up in talking yeah. about the, the turtles. <laughs> Can always real loop in with turtles. Turtles, yep. Damn, I got thirteen people watching this. Talking about turtles. Oh, okay then. <laughs> oh, I guess because nobody oh, yeah. else. I guess because nobody else is on right now. You know this community is full of nerds, so you know, you know every single one is probably a Turtles fan as well. Yeah, right. Or seen at least one of the shows. I'll admit I've never oh, been like yeah. I haven't been huge. I'm not that. I like the games more than I like the other stuff. I don't know. When I did my little interview, there was a chinless somebody. Oh no, who Kevin Eastman is? Okay. 
They're not real fans. None of them are real fans. Yeah, he's like one of the co-creators of it. Like... Yeah. None of them are real fans. <laughs> What's your favorite series, Dean, out of all of them? Uh, 2003. I've heard, I've heard that one's like, isn't that one supposed to be closer to the comics? Or am I mistaken? Kind of, sort kind of. Sort of, kind of sort it of. goes into its own little thing because you, you got that little arc going on for like, I think five seasons. Then you go into Future Shock. And then you go to back to the sewer. Oh, boy. And that's where it ends. Yeah, I remember hearing about that one, but I never watched that one when I was younger on TV. And I was like growing up when that one was on. That's a good one. I wish I had been the game on stream, Hyperstone Heist. Yeah, that it's one's never... that one's good. Yeah, I like Turtles. I, at, I like Turtles at Time better though. I'll admit. I, ne I never saw much of a difference between the two. Hyperstone oh, Heist has cool. Hyperstone Heist has some 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 of the levels are a bit different. Like you got one where I like, go like on a, a ship in a cave one I remember. I mean, the level design is the one thing that's different, but, like, 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 really, like, the art style in general is very much, like, very much, like, similar to the other. Oh, yeah, the gameplay, why, oh, yeah, definitely. Very so and Some of the music's, like, just the same, too. Just, I get what you mean. Yeah, I never really saw much of it. you uh, fight Tatsu, though. Yeah, Tatsu, you reach him at the end, once you're uh, in the caves. Yeah. Yeah, like, like, like the only said, major I, thing. Oh. I, I beat that game like a few months back. This was like during my hiatus. Didn't do it on stream. Oh, Bob seen beat it. Okay. If I remember correctly, Tatsu wasn't even wasn't even that hard to beat. It was like literally everything that came before him that was that was a massive difficulty. Like throughout that whole stage, you're like fighting off these flying drones that are like these pesky little pains in the asses, like flying in your direction. You have to like swap them off like fucking mosquitoes every t every single time. And by the time you get to Tatsu, you're just about worn out. I can believe it. Whoa, Cheetah Man, we gotta get some more game. I'm playing something. I'm moved on to another one. This is a kitchen panic. I, yeah, I saw, but. It was like you were throwing down and like, dang, we got to the K's really fast. I don't have like every game, so. You need to. You are a gamer. You must have every game. Oh yeah, so I can so I, I can play it. so I can play Toy Story Two with save states. I'm not saying all that. I am <laughs> not saying all that. I don't even know who does that. Yeah, me, 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 <laughs> me, me neither. I think Albert was talking about it one time. Uh, okay. Thank God we don't hang around anyone that does that. Oof. Oof. What is this, though? Looks like you fell into the kitchen or something. I will find out. I think this is another platformer. The visuals look good, though, on the title screen, at least. That's like, I like they're color. That's in colorful. All right. 1998 Panther software. Oh, you're in. Are you an egg or a bean or what are you? I have no idea. What? Oh man, maybe this is what OEB Pete meant by my bean. Oh, I forgot about it. possibly. <laughs> <laughs> you are say, the say, bean. That's what I say. Your go. Have you ever played this one before? Some of you know about these Japanese games. Kitchen Panic. Oh, yeah. Yargo probably has a gi he wears around the house. <laughs> Is this Minky Monkey? No, doesn't look like a monkey to me. This looks like a potato. I, I, this looks like a potato, the character I am. A potato. A potato, yeah. Like the tech, like the texture on it, like a potato. You gotta collect other various vegetables. I have no idea. I guess so. I don't know. 
Could be a potato. Yeah. I don't know what the goal. Hey, I think. Yoko, what would you? Yoko, what would you wear? What would you use that gi for? Toy Story Two is pretty tough. I'll, I'll take your word for it, Yorgo. I've never played it before. I did when I was fucking six. Ugh. Now I know Toy Brian, Story. I know Toy Story One's pretty tough, like the Super Nintendo and Genesis. That's fucking hard, whether you're a kid or an adult. Yeah, I know somebody was. I saw someone reviewing that game. They were trying to do some level where Woody was having to use his pull string to like swing across stuff, and he was having the hardest time. Like the hit, like you got to be like perfect for it to work, or you just like fall back down. I mean, yeah, you have to you have to time your jumps carefully with that one, but everything else is such a fucking crippling punishment. Like God damn, what was, what was Disney Interactive thinking that you know this is supposed to be like geared towards kids? What kid could beat that shit? Like the games doesn't really get difficult until later on when you're in yeah when you're in Sid's house. Sid's house. That's where he was having trouble trying to swing on those things, trying to get up the platforms. Yeah, Sid's house. That's that's the that's like some of the some of the worst and absolute most unforgiving stages. And the they make you do an escort thing, but like he didn't know that, and he like got a game over because like he died immediately. Like he didn't give, he didn't like tell him or anything. Escort thing. Hmm. I think oh, you're, you're talking about one of those uh, side-scrolling gliding stages? No, on Sid's house. Yeah, is that the one where he's like um, gliding like um, like through the house in a, in a skateboard? Yeah, I think he has to escort like Buzz Lightyear or something. And like it happened so fast, he didn't have like, he like died before he could do anything. Like the guy reviewing it. Assist Buzz. Oh yeah, you're, you're talking about the workbench stage. Yeah, that's... That's still when you're you're in Sid's house. Sid's you house, to, yeah. Yeah, you have to do the same shit he does in the movie where he uh he presses a button on on his back to get his arm to chop to chop away the fucking mutant toys away. Yeah, that's it. Yep, he didn't like yep. And like he didn't have he like it happened so fast he didn't have time to react and he died and he's like, What the fuck? <laughs> no, yeah, no. That that stage is ridiculous. You know why? Because you cannot you cannot slow down at all because you have to chop the toys away. You know, you have to chop them away, and there's like that that creepy little baby spider toy that's with one with one eye that's like yeah. right behind you. Yeah, like every time you miss a hit, you know, from the toys that are in front of you that you're trying to chop away, every time you miss a hit, that's gonna slow him down, and it's gonna get the the, the little baby spider behind you like gang up on you. Oh yeah, fuck that. Oh, you you played this one, Yorgo? Yeah, this one seems pretty cool. Well, I played, but yeah, no, I haven't played much of that one though. I've just heard it's like difficult. Like that's crazy though. Like freaking Toy Story, like being a hard game, like you, like a, like you said, a kids game. I know, I know. Yeah, what? Name, name, name one kid that could literally just like pass through that, like a, like absolutely nothing effortlessly. Nobody, no kid could ever pass through that effortlessly. I don't think I have that when you're go love or destroy. And I can't really download games on here because, like, the download speeds slow down when I'm streaming, so. I'm stuck with, like, whatever I downloaded a couple weeks ago. That looks like Dean hopped off. Yeah. Should I say Lord? Yes. Yep, yep. yep hey, pa See ya. Yep, yeah, have a good night, Dean, if you're not coming back. He's, I think he said he was off today. Cause he was doing uh, you heard the um the Queef song, didn't you, on the Twitter? Um, no, I don't believe I have. Dean um I yeah, to it. yeah, Dean um uploaded um posted it on there like a sample of it. Oh, I gotta hear it then. It should be good. Yeah, no, I'm I'm interested in it too. Uh oh, damn. I, he says it's coming out, like I said, April 26th. Like, Queef's oh, going to so be... There, so there is something going on in the 26th. Heavy Metal Gamer said he might be doing something, too. Something planned on Albert's stream last night. Like, dude, there was, like, so much talks about, you know, April 26th and what's coming. Like, I knew there was something going on. I knew there was something, like, you know, being yeah. anticipated for that date. Yeah, because that's the day he got um 
I think the pizza sent to him. Oh, so it was like an anniversary thing. Anniversary, yep. <laughs> oh. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll have more pizza sent to him by, on that day. Well, we'll see. Sesame Street's NES with save states. Oh, hey, hey bet nobody better do that, Yorgo, unless you're like a, a like a two year old. Like save states for that. Damn, I can't get past this part. That'd just be pathetic. Or if you're a forty two year old. You're forty two, right? Like freaking I don't know who would be streaming Sesame Street except for like Bob. That's the only person I could think of. Like Sesame Street Sundays. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Sesame Street Sundays. Who do we know that would do that? Oh, That's I guess, sad. I guess, you know. Like I said, I can take a guess. Old bruv fam. <laughs> How many inches you're working with? Don't forget the oh, other guy that was get... interested in nine year olds. Uh, I don't think J Jared. Like, I've seen him try and stream on, like, other people have uploaded his stuff, and he can't stream worth a shit. Like, I think he points his camera at the screen, and it's just pathetic. Uh, Dean's saying people in diapers. Oh my god, I get what he's I get what Dean means. Good word. <laughs> I, I could I could understand what he means by that. Ah, I do too, don't, yep. Don't they have the characters on the diapers also? Oh yeah, Dean I just noticed Dean you said see ya in the um the private chats. Yep, see ya. Yeah, see ya. Yeah, left it right there. Yeah, I wasn't paying I wasn't paying attention to it, so I was focused on trying to get past this level. What's Yorgo saying that April date is more it is and more anticipated than the recent eclipse. Uh, yeah, Sesame Street Sundays at midnight. Yep, and then you got Minecraft Mondays, Fortnite Fridays. <laughs> oh man. Huh. Or maybe he can alternate Saturdays? between or Saturdays. Yeah, I don't know any games that start with an S for Saturdays. Saturday, Saturday. Like kids games, like or he could have fried five nights at Freddy's Fridays too. Oh, there we go. That's how you do it. That's what you... Okay, that's a good one. Five nights, five nights at Freddy's on Friday. Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't know what else the kids play, to be honest. I know that among, I don't know if they still play that Among Us, but that they don't have any days this is the week for that. I guess Sauce Saturdays. There we go. Let's see. He set up a schedule for the intro to the channel and blow. What a failure. Right, Dean? Like, good luck keeping up a schedule. Like. How do I do that spinning? Oh, there we go. I see that. I see now. It's weird though. Like, I guess I gotta hold down. How do you do that though? Like, I can only get it to work right. Okay, no. What you got on the TV, Willis? I'm watching the movie Over the Top, Will Sylvester Stallone. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that one. That's the arm wrestling one, ain't it? Yep, it sure is. It's a classic. I've never seen I don't think it. No, I haven't seen that one before. I've heard of it, though. There's like a lot yeah, of. People say it's, yeah, people say it's not one of Sylvester's best movies, but it's actually it's actually pretty good. It's a good movie. Yeah, I haven't seen. There's like quite a few stolen movies I haven't seen, to be honest. I still need to see like a lot of the Rocky films at some point. I guess that's the checkpoint. Oh, which, which one? Which one did you stop at? I've only seen the first one. <laughs> that's it. Oh, only the first. Yeah, Rocky oh, One. Wow. Yeah, no. I don't want to catch it up with that one. I got to at least see like two and at least two and three. Oh wow! So, so you just stopped right when it began. <laughs> What's your favorite of the sequels? I know you've probably seen all of them. All of them. Yeah, I guess you could say that. So say Wait, which one's your so, fa which one's your favorite though? 
out of the sequels? Um, I have to, I have to go. I have to go with the one with the uh, Clever Lang. That's the third one in it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one with Eye of the Tiger too. Like it's like the theme. Oh yeah, so so you you know for sure that that one um that one definitely has earned its place in in well I guess you could say it's it's earned its place mainly for that song. Yeah, everybody it's, everybody uh, knows they they play that song all the time like everywhere. Yeah, it's it's, it's the one movie that pretty much uh, cemented that song. Yeah, so it's uh. That was just about enough to make it one of the greats right there. The fact that it was the first movie, it was the one movie that de- debuted that song. Dean saying, I have to see till four. Oh, yeah, Av- Ivan Drago. Yep, that's the Russian guy. When you're feeling down, it will perk you up for its insanity. Ivan Drago. Oh, yeah. If he dies, he dies. Now, which one? What's the one where Polly has like the robot, like maid or a butler or whatever? Is that four or five? The robot. I'm not sure if I. He has like, he has, like the, he has like a robot like with him, or because I've just seen someone talking about it on YouTube. And who's who's the one that has it? I can't remember. It's on um, Polly, I think. You know, I think that's the character's name. It's like his um it's like his brother it's like stole it's like Rocky's brother in law or whatever. Like up Adrian I think Adrian's brother. That character, I think. How do I get past I, I, that sounds like a hell of a rabbit hole I need to, you know, hop right back into to find out. I may be misremembering. Yeah, Gorgo, I've only seen the first one. I've always seen that one a couple of times too. I gotta watch that one again at some points. Like I've seen more Rambo. I've seen more of the Rambos that have the Rockies. Oh, I could believe that. I actually played one of the. Yeah, actually, yeah, I streamed Rambo one time. Let me get. Um, I'm assuming Rambo three. Yep. Yeah, that one's not bad for an early Genesis game. Oh no, it's not bad at all. Like one of those, it's one of those those RPG type shooter games that I seemingly got got used to, and I'm I'm not too big on not too heavy on you know a lot of those games, but that one that was actually pretty fun. It reminds me of that. Um, you ever played Mercs before? Which one's that? That's another. That's like another running gun for the Genesis. That came out around the same time as Rocky. Okay, what the hell am I supposed to do there? Yeah, the farthest I ever made in that game in, in uh, Rainbow Three, it was, it was technically like the last stage. The last stage, I was just about, I, w- I was just about a third of the way there, like towards the end. But there was like so much shit you had to blow up. Like in that stage, like you have to blow up all these helicopters, you have to blow up all these crates, these, and uh, uh, you have to you have to blow everything up. And of course, there's like a whole army of guys shooting at you, and you have to pretty much uh, like a uh, shoot your way through them, shoot your way through them just to make it to the end. Yes, yeah, so that was kind of a bitch. Yeah, I can imagine, just like wave upon wave of enemy. What was that next to be? Really, just just a never-ending surge. And Dean, of course, uh, rubbed it in, you know, show, coming on stream one time, showing him, showing himself, like, beating the, beating the whole thing. I remember that, yep, I remember that. Yeah, because that was around the time when I was streaming it myself, and Dean said that he could, he could beat without any problem, and lo, well, he, he did, he, and he rubbed it in. That's what I need to play more of, I've only played, like, maybe a couple of levels for it. You would like Mercs, though. That's a pretty similar game to Rocky, like an overhead running gun. That's like, a, like I said, a really early Genesis game. Came out in like 89. I think it came out like 1990. Capcom um, originally made it. It's an arcade port. Yeah, some of the some of the early ports for the for the Genesis. I I feel like I really need to. Uh, yeah, I really I really need to you know give more of a gander to because there's some there's some good games that came out during. During you know the the early 
of the early goings of its uh of its lifespan. Yeah, the all of the arcade ports and stuff. Yorgo saying never try the Genesis version, but he liked the Sega Master System, but he doesn't like the NES one. Yeah, the Master System's not too bad. That's like a it's kind of that reminds me of like of the Kari Warriors clone, but it's like a lot slower paced though compared to the Genesis game. But yeah, Rambo NES. You know, that's like the Zelda two. That's the one the nerd talked about, where the command like where, like that one character turns into a frog at the end. Yeah, there's so many good games that came out like during the, during the the, the start of the whole Genesis era, the whole the whole starting period. And that's exactly why, though, because a lot of them were arcade ports. Yeah, you know why? Because they um, they cut, they kind of wanted to, you know, take gaming to like the next level. They wanted to, uh, take gamers to the very next level of you know the whole gaming experience by porting some of the some of the best like arcade franchises, you know, and just uh, kind of like making them into like a whole at home system. Yeah, that that was pretty much the whole, the that was pretty much. Like um, the whole stem of the Genesis to begin with was kind of to was kind of like you know to take your favorite arcade game and like uh, um, like yeah, just make it into like an at home system, you know, something you could really like um, experience on your own time. Right, right. Like um, like I know they got the rights to all those Capcom games, like Strider and like I said Mercs, like Ghouls and Ghosts. Strider, oh man, I've o- I always thought Strider looked like a. It, it look. I always thought Strider looked like a great game. It kind of did. Have you have you never played it before? No, I never did. I've seen I've seen playthroughs of it, and it does look pretty fun. Yeah, it look it looks fun. I could I could imagine it being hard as shit. I mean, a lot of them pretty much were during that time, but I, it, I would say it's it definitely must have been worth the play. Yeah, that one takes quite a bit of practice. It's that one focuses a lot on like set pieces too. Like it's got like the big sprites and stuff. Yeah, I do remember. I do remember the the guy doing some trapeze type shit in the game. Yeah, I can say it, it takes some practice. Once you get the hang of it, you can like make some. You can make progress. I've never beaten it because the last level is pretty hard. But I can make some pro. I can make. I can make it to like for the Genesis. I think the furthest I made it to stage four. I think it's like five or six stages total. Yeah, you know that's that's another thing too. A lot of them, a lot of them are relatively short too. Like they, like the levels are like the whole game is pretty short, but the levels are pretty long. Yeah, because it's like yeah, it doesn't add, it doesn't have any new levels for the arcade. Like it just keeps it the same as it is. Like Altered Beast, like, like d- if you were depending on how good you are at Altered Beast. You would probably be done with that game in like 10 minutes tops. That has to be the absolute shortest out of all of them. Alter Beast. Yeah, that is short. But I, I think that was pretty cheap, though, in my opinion. Like Alter. Golden, yeah, I mean, a- Golden Axe is, fairly, the- Golden Axe is fairly oh, yeah. short, too. Even with the extra level. But the final boss is like impossible. Like I've never gotten past it before. That's as far as I've gotten in it. Got those stupid, axe, those so stupid, I, those stupid skeletons that like follow me around that never seem to die. That's what's annoying. Apparently, you can kill them, but they take like a million hits. Oh yeah, that's right, the skeletons. Yeah, I remember. I remember being very like so very annoyed by those damn skeletons. I think I remember something about them like falling apart and then like just uh, reassembling. Like, do they do that? For the final boss, yeah, like I think they take, I think you can kill him after like a million hits, but like you're better off just avoiding them. Yeah, but but don't they also like uh manage to reassemble their bones and pick themselves back up? Yeah, before they get defeated, you can defeat them, but that's what that's their version of getting like knocked down. Oh, that's fucking annoying. Your what's Yorgo saying? Early Gen- Black Grid games were the best from that era. Yeah, for the most part, because by the by the time they changed into the red boxes, I mean the games were getting like 
a lot of the games just weren't as the quality wasn't quite there, especially like from the American stuff. A, a lot more American developed games, and then Sega like pretty much abandoned it like by the time the Saturn came out. Over here, anyway. Yeah, the Saturn the Saturn wasn't really too great, was it? No, it oh, it had good games, but like it just wasn't like. It was just too expensive over here, like like four hundred dollars. The PS One was three hundred. And plus, it like launched too early. Like the pe the comp the stores that like got it like didn't even were like surprised. And plus, you know the developers were surprised too because there like were enough games out for it at launch. Like pe for months, people were just stuck with like a few titles. Like I think like they told him like Virtual Fighter, maybe something else. What's your go seeing? Altered Beast was a temporary pack in. Yep, for, for Sonic. I would have made Golden Axe the pack in, though, personally. But I guess I can sort of see why, because who's paying, like, full price for Altered Beast? Yeah, those games right there, those were, those are really, like, the launching pad for, like, you know, up-and-coming games like Sonic. Yeah, those were the games that really kind of started it. Yeah, those, like, launch titles, yep. Like the black box stuff, like the arcade ports, and of course the the ones with the celebrities on the boxes. You know, like Michael Jack like Moonwalker, and like there's like what Tommy was sort of baseball, like um Joe Montana football. Okay, how do I get down here? Oh, I, oh, I see now. That's true. Like those are some of the earliest working titles right there. And um James Buster James Buster Douglas boxing, but that's like a technically an arcade port. But they just add him in there. I can imagine that too, because that has a very arcade feel to it. It does. It really does kind of have like a, like a, like a very, very much like a, like an arcade vibe. I want to say that yeah. um, Taito pub Taito developed the arcade version, and Sega obviously got the rise and just changed it and added in James Buster Douglas. Like it's not for that game for James Buster Douglas. It's not as hard as um, Super Super Punch Out. Like not at all. So Punch Out is way harder than that. Red level. But for yeah, but for James Buster Douglas, it's kind of like hard, it's easy to figure out. You know, they they try to make it hard, but you know, it's very it's very easy to pick up on. You know, their their difficulty and what they and what their what their strategy is, what the opponent's strategy is. Yeah, it's very easy to pick up on that. Yeah, Lewis. It was called um final. The arcade version was called Final Blow. Oh, okay, I, okay. I think it's the same game though, but just without the, any of the real boxing here, real boxers. Red label shit got watered down real quick. Yeah, no, your go it got a lot more like American developed games by then, especially from Sega's end, especially from like Sega, like they didn't do like their Japanese division wasn't putting out as much stuff. Like, they relied heavily on Sega of America to publish games. Yeah, I remember I remember when I finally made it to the end of this game, James Buster Douglas. Like, to the, once I finally reached the end, you're supposed to face this uh this big dude in a mask called Iron Mask. Of course, I couldn't knock him out, even though I wanted to, but I still managed to get enough blows in to earn myself a win, so that pretty much still counted. Right, right. You won, I guess you would have won by decision, then. Yeah, because they also they also pretty much uh, determine your win, um, judging by uh, judging by your your amount of hits and how many you've given rather than taken. Yeah, so like regular boxing. Yep, yeah, like I guess. Yeah, I, don't, I, I also don't... have another one. It's uh, George Foreman. I uh, I have George Foreman as well. That's a new one. I've heard of, I've heard of the George Foreman game too. I think. Yeah, it yeah, it, it's not one of the best either. Yeah, people people really shit on this game. Buster Douglas was on top of the world for yeah. Was that when he beat uh, Mike Tyson? I, and then they, when that game, that's why they got the license to it. Yeah, he was. He was the first man to ever knock Mike, Mike Tyson out. It was a big deal. So of course Sega was going to cash in on that, and he was too. I got to keep. I think that's around the time when Nintendo lost like the license to, 
like let the license for Mike Tyson expired, and they did it like with replace Mike Tyson with that Mr. Dream character. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna make it a a massive accomplishment like that right there, knocking out the knocking out the the most feared and most dominant fighter in the world, of course you're gonna gain some sort of like um worldwide traction. Right, and like cash in and like endorsements and stuff. Exactly, a, a shit ton of notoriety. Now, Yorgo, have you, ever, have you ever played this game before? That I play it now, where you play like, like this bird looking thing? Now, you have um Rocket Knight, don't you, Lewis? The first one? Yeah, yeah, Rocket Knight Adventures. Yeah, 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 you guys saw me stream that one, too, before. I don't think I've seen you stream it. That must have been before I was watching. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it was that long ago. I think I, I think you were, you were in the chat when I, when I streamed it that, that the last time. That must, I must not remember then, because it must have been a while. Was that before you left? Yeah, probably, yeah. That, I, that's I, why, I that's that why then. Recently. That's, if, that's why then, so. Yeah, I haven't streamed that one recently, no. But, um, I know, I know the, the last level I left off at, I, I did it, yeah, I did it, like, off stream. Yeah, I kind of made it, like, much farther in that game, even though, even though I didn't think I, would, I was going to, because I always thought this would be another difficult, another difficult game, but it's easy to, it's easy to remember. It's kind of, it's another game that's, that's easy to remember once you get the hang of it. How far have you gotten in? Have you gotten to the, um, the airship stage? No, no, definitely not. No, I, I didn't make it to any other shit stage, so okay. I can imagine that's gonna be the worst. That one's not that bad once you like get used to it. You you probably got to like, did you get to the buying cart stage? That stage too. We have to like ride on like the boss is like that train thing. Oh man, this one has a mine cart stage too. That's on stage at the end of stage two, yeah. And like the boss, you have to like fight some robot train looking thing. Oh man, you, you know you're in for a rough treatment once you make it to a minecart stage in any game. This was not too bad though, in my opinion. The one in Rocket Knights. Yeah, you're going to the final boss, but I tried to play that one shortly after and I could not get past the um the boxing parts. Yeah, I can't I can't imagine it being any more difficult to I can't imagine it being any more difficult than the than the minecart in Donkey Kong. No, I thought it was easier. Oh man, the minecart and Donkey Kong was just about ready to pull my fucking hair out. Yeah, I, I had trouble with that one when I was younger, trying to get past it. I <laughs> trying to make the jumps. Oh, I know the jumps were the worst part. You know there there was so there was like so many jumps where if you were just like a a tad off key, you would miss it completely. Like you would still be like on the on the very cusp of it, and you would it still wouldn't count. Like you, there's one of those things where you have to time it perfectly, precisely. Right, or your yeah, I played this one much your go. I guess this was not too bad. It's like kind of slow paced though, in my opinion. Right, I'm just gonna go with. Looks great though. Yeah, this is this one seems kind of cool. Like I said, this is, this game needs like a run button or something. Okay, I don't, I don't really care. I just want to move on. But yeah, Rocket Knight starts. Like the final boss is pretty tough though. That's as far as I've gotten. Plus, by that point too, I'd run out of continue so. That's what hurt me. Cause I was playing the Japanese version, cause the Japanese version you get more continues, a couple more continues. You know, there's actually there's actually so many of these games I really need to like um really need to give another chance to, cause I've really kind of slept on a lot of these. There's a uh, Zero the Kamikaze Squirrel. That's a good one. I played a little bit of that one in the past. Pulse Man, this this game is freaking underrated. Pulse Man. I was playing that one not on stream, but like a, about a month ago. I I enjoy that one. Yeah, that one's not too bad. Like that one's got like pretty fair difficulty in my opinion. Yeah, Joe and Mac. Joe and Mac. This this game actually really pissed me the fuck off. Oh, uh, Dean. And Mac. I think Luke was having trouble with one of those, like the remake of it or whatever. I think Dean was too. All right, I'm moving on to something. Yeah, this game's kind of slow. I'm moving on to something else. Yeah, the remake is basically just a remaster of the original. Like, 
like everything everything you see in the in the in the new version you're going to see like in the original I'm trying to figure out which oh my god which which level in particular um which which level in particular drove me the most insane it was definitely it was definitely the stages with the with the pterodactyls that's the one where you're climbing up, ain't it? I can't remember. All, all the game stages have pterodactyls. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's actually it right there. The one where you're where you're climbing where you're climbing up the vines and the pterodactyls the are vines, coming down yep. at you. And the boss is a pterodactyl, oh, I think. Yep. yep. The yeah, it's, it's it's supposed to be like the mother pterodactyl. And I remember too, it was always like flying so high you could barely even reach it. You had to wait till it uh, flies down lower before you before you could throw your your clubs at him. Yeah, the arcade version is just as difficult. I mean, Jesus Christ, it was a massive pain in the ass. And the, oh, Ghouls and Ghosts. I played a bit of Ghouls and Ghosts, yeah. I played a, a bit of Ghouls and Ghosts, especially in my time off. How far have you gotten in it? I think it was around... Which stage was it? I'm trying to, I'm trying to at least remember... The whole, like the whole level design. Did you I get remember, to? It's like a really. Did you get to the um the bird? Did you get to the burning village part? That's stage. That's stage two. Um. Yeah. 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 That's the one I beat. Also. Yeah. So you got what about the um the tower? What the stage we're at? Having to go up the tower. I think that's the tower. Two. Yeah. That, that's the one. It's like a really long walk too, and everything. Yeah, the furthest I've gotten is like stage four where you're in the cave. That's a that's a hard ass game, but it's still easier than the other ones in my opinion. Like I actually make some progress into in it. It helps you get like lower the dip like lower the difficulty in that one compared to the arcade version. Yeah, I might have to look it up just to know just to know exactly for sure. So I think at that stage the boss is like a cloud. That I remember that boss being pretty tough. Like I said, those games are just hard in general, like ghouls, the Ghouls and Ghosts series. I think the best part about it is the fact that it has infinite continue. Oh, definitely. It'd be impossible without it. Gotta Thank have God infinite continue. That. Yep. Have you ever played Super Ghouls and Ghosts? That one's the, I thought that one was even harder. Like, I struggled to get past stage two in that game. Like, that's why I don't really So, yeah, I much. found it. Yep, I found it. I, I found this this stage I was at. And you know something? I I actually definitely beat this stage. Now I don't remember. It was it was the second one. Yeah, yeah, that one's not too bad. The um, that's the one with the burning village. Yep. Yeah, and the skulls and everything. The skull. Act the final boss is like a like a a fire demon, I guess. You have to try to find him. Oh, there. Oh, see, see. So now it's all coming back to me. It's a good thing I looked this up to try to to, to kind of like a uh, uh, like draw some sort of pattern. Yeah, kind of like refresh my memory, and it's working. Yeah. The, all right. So I remember that part, the fire. Yeah, everything burning down. And let me see the end. It's like a dog. I think it's like a flaming dog or something. If I remember correctly. Yeah, I'm looking at him right now. It has. Yeah, it's it's all fiery. It has like. It has like fangs and everything. Yep. Might be a dragon. It might be. It's been a while since I played it. I, oh no, it's like a, it's like a flaming something. It's on. It's like a flaming. It may be a flaming dragon. Yeah, I can't remember if it's like a dragon or a dog, but oh, some type of flaming animal. Yeah, it, it very much looks like a dragon. I can I can tell just by the just by the look of its face. Yeah, it's it's, it's got, definitely a dragon then. Yeah, it's got the teeth and it's got the the nostrils too. Yep. Yeah, it's got the it's got the two small little separate nostrils, kind of like how a dragon would have. Yeah, it's very much a dragon. Okay, so I definitely made it to this one, the part where it has the the auto scrolling. Yep, where you have to like that, you have like the knights that come out of the wall. You have to defeat the defeat. Oh yeah, and you and you got these little flying bastards dropping eggs at you. It looks mm. like. Yep, and you got, and later on in the stage, you have to like jump on these platforms. That part's pretty annoying, in my opinion. 
So this, no, this this one I did not pass 100%. Because right, I maybe gotten past it once, and that's about it. Like, it's hard as fuck. I might have used, I'll be honest with you, I might have used save states too, so technically I don't even think I've gotten past it at all. <laughs> you, you know what the funny thing is? I think Darius also used save states for this also. Yeah, I, that's a hard, that game's hard as hell. I didn't, that, that was before I was streaming though, so. Because I'll admit, I've used like save states a few times, but only for like really hard games, and like I said, I use, I like to avoid those when I can. I prefer to just try and beat games like legitimately. Oh God, I remember, I remember everything now. It was, it was this part I couldn't, get, I couldn't get past the little floating platforms. Yeah, that that's part so fucking hard. Like fuck that shit. <laughs> that come out of the, that come out of their mouths. And you have to like avoid enemies too. It's just like, like that's hard enough just trying to get on from one platform to the other. I know that just that just makes it more monotonous right there. Just the fact that they have to keep throwing enemies in there and just uh, an overabundance of enemies. Like like it's pretty hard enough as it is. The boss I thought was annoying too, like the cloud. Whenever I played it, or I think it's a cloud or like a puff of smoke or something. Yeah, it, it very much looks like a cloud with a giant eye in the middle. I mean, look, looks like a cloud to me. It's a, it's a, it's a whole assemblage of, it's a whole assemblage of little, puffy little, <laughs> smoky little puffs, like uh, all gathered around, and there's an eye like right there in the middle. So, yeah, very much looks like a cloud. Yeah, it probably is then. So yeah, this, so it's definitely that stage I never made it past, for sure. I must have I must have rage quit already. I don't blame you. That game is hard as fuck. Thank like I said, thank God for unlimited continues for that game. Yeah, that's like that's like the the, the major plus side of this game right here, the fact that it has infinite continues. See, they must have known what they were doing, making it as, as hard as it as they possibly could because they probably knew that the player would have uh like a hard enough time trying to get past certain levels and they probably just uh Decided to give them infinite continues, you know, for for their troubles. Yeah. Oh, what's up, Rocky? Yeah, that's how all the um um ghouls and ghosts games are. Unlimited continues, like even like the NES game, like Ghosts and Goblins. The arcade versions are like hard. I think those are even harder than like that's even harder than the Genesis, in my opinion, of that game. Like the Genesis like version toned things down a little bit, believe it or not. I mean, I think they were like that with a lot of their ports because they, um, like, I, I don't know. There, there's probably, there's probably some ways, some ways they can make it, you know, like the, the arcade original, you know, the original arcade version, you know, in terms of difficulty and there's, and there's like other ways where they kind of like wanted to, you know, do their own thing. Right. I mean, now Mercs, that's that, the Genesis version. Of that's still pretty tough. But it's like, I don't think I've beaten that one, but I've gotten to like the last stage because it's a pretty short game too. That's starting to say, you have Forgotten Worlds too, don't you? I want to see. I know you got, che I know you have um Cheeky Cheeky Boys because you've streamed that one in the past. Oh yeah, the Cheeky Cheeky Boys, yeah. Yeah, definitely that one. That That's another That's another good one too. It's, uh... Oh, uh, it's, it's also... It's not as reasonable as Ghouls and Ghosts is, especially with the continues. Like, you're pretty much given like only one life, one life per stage. So, they're kind of, they're kind of like bullshit with that right there with that rule. Yeah, but you have like a health bar though, so that sort of I guess they think that makes I guess they in their eyes that makes up for not having lives. Oh, and the other thing is that they also have like um like a little gift store that you visit before every stage, depending on how much. How much you collect, you know, if you're able to like afford any of it, so you are able to purchase like an extra life if you lose one in the previous stage. Right, that's like um, ghoul. That's like um, Forgotten Worlds, where you have like the shop you can go into. Oh wait, which which one's Forgotten Worlds? Cause that that one that's the um, about. that's like a that's like a the shooter where you like play as the dude, like flying around shooting things. You can, like rotate your character around. Oh man, I know for sure I've seen I've seen a bunch of gameplays for that. That's another like early I think that's like another early Genesis title, like an arcade port. 
the other one from Capcom, of course. Yorgo's probably played that one, and it's a good game, but it can oh, be pretty wait. tough. Holy shit! I actually did beat this stage in Ghouls and Goes. I remember the 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 big old glow worm. Glow worm? You talking yeah, about stage? For st is that what stage is that? Stage four? Well, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a it's a glow worm, but it has like, it has like all these maggots like crawling out of it. It's like uh, like reproducing all these maggots consistently. You might have made it further than me because I don't remember that boss. Like Jesus, like the fur the further I keep looking into this, the like the more I just remember beating it. Like I say, that's not bad. That's a that's a tough game. And that's one of those ones you have to beat twice to get the good ending. That's how it is for a lot oh, yeah, of those I remember, games. I remember it looks like it has like four or five hearts. Yeah. It looks like it has four or five hearts, right? And you have to you have to pretty much uh like destroy each of them before you can before you can proceed. That's got to be. I'm assuming it's stage four, or stage five, because I've never seen that boss before. Like, I didn't even remember this until now. And I do remember, like, finally <laughs> finally getting past the last the, the last heart I'm supposed to uh, destroy before proceeding to the next stage. That's what I was saying. Are you watching, like, a, a long play or one of your streams of it? No, a long play. Oh, a long play. There's no way I have this. I, I, was, I didn't even stream this. Like, at all. I didn't, I didn't stream none of my none of my struggles with this game. I'm pretty sure it would have made interesting content if I did. Yeah, yeah, it would have. But at least that's a good game, unlike something like Gargoyles or like a Cliffhanger, or Dennis the, or of course Dennis the Menace. No, f fuck all those license games. Like, license games can really, they can really just completely go to hell. Oh, or that one, or that one X Men game you were playing like somewhat recently. That's another one you were having a lot of difficulty with. The first one, I think, yeah, yeah. not Clone Wars, but yeah, the I first mean, one. Yeah, that, that was a bad game. It looked pretty bad. Yeah. Like the visuals were pretty unimpressive. Oh no, the the visuals weren't too promising, and not to mention they limit they limit their abilities, which is horseshit. Like they limit how many times you can use Wolverine's claws or Cyclops' laser. Like that's stupid. It is, yeah. At least in um in the sequel Clone Wars, they finally made they finally fixed their mistakes. See, Clone Wars is another game that I finally made it much farther into. And I never thought I would. I never thought in a million years I would make it past the third stage in that damn game, but I did. I think I made it past the the fifth stage already. Yeah, I've heard that one's like a lot. I've heard that one's a lot better though. Oh, it is. It's a, it's a damn good game. Right, I'm, I'm gonna get. I don't care about this sure. bonus level. I just want to play the. That game had the perfect graphics, the perfect, the perfect plot line. It was, it was very much in tune with. Um, I think it was based on the anime series. Yeah, it it, it was very much in tune with the with the series. I would say more than likely. That's how a lot of those like game there's a lot of games based off cartoons back then. So Yeah, because you know a lot of those a lot of those had, you know, a lot of uh marketing potential. So, you know, merchant merchandise sales they were they were a must. Okay, I don't want to do this level. I guess I gotta play this level. Damn. Oh well, I'll just get through this, I guess. What happens when I quit? Um, oh, I'll probably geez, start Probably start the whole game. It gets worse. Way. It gets much worse in Ghouls and Ghosts because now you pretty much face all the bosses right, in one even, stage. I'm not even bothered with. I'll do that another <laughs> time. Well, I can believe that. You you have to face all the freaking bosses that you faced already. The the one in the first stage with the uh, with the uh, the Cyclops, the one-eyed Cyclops, and the uh, the clouds again. There's like two of them. It looked like. Yeah. Fuck that. No, I oh, I hate games that do that where they we had to pretty much revisit 
your previous boss battles. Boss rush stuff. Yeah, I'm not. A, I'm not a fan of that either. Some people don't. Is. Some people don't agree with that. I can't remember who said they didn't agree with it. I think it was like, I think it was Dean that disagreed with me on that. Dean or Albert. But I'm not. I'm not a big fan of that either, though. I know, and literally all that just so, all that just to lead up to the next boss battle, the new one, which happens to be a giant moth. No, that's right. It was um Albert that disagreed with me on that one. But yeah, I don't know. Like, it just depends. Like, a lot of the time, I'm, I just want to get through the game. Because I remember I was talking to him about Axley. That's a game. No, not Axley. Um, Actraiser. That's a game that has, like, a boss rush at the end of it. I got beaten that one. But God, that boss rush was just good. I died so many times on that. Try to get through it. Just ridiculous. I'm trying to figure out what's so hard about this this moth boss right here. It doesn't look, it doesn't look all that difficult. It just looks like it's dropping some glowing green turds from the from the tip of its anus onto you. That's got to be that's probably the stage four boss then where you're in the cave. I would assume if it's like a moth. Oh damn! And after that, you're you're pretty much back to the village where you start. Yeah, you know, pretty much uh, where you start the game off in the first stage. Yep, they make you do go through it all over again, but it's harder. They love to oh, do that. So, so you can try to get the good ending, right? Yep. Oh damn it! It's one of those. It's, it's one of those games. That's how I think all of those games. I know the first one is too. I'm assuming with Super Ghouls and Ghosts is the same way. Yeah, it can't be. It really, it really can't be worth the struggle. At least you got a lot of patience. The pace seems to be a lot quicker though when you try when you do all this again. Like everything is like like the motions, like the motions are moving much more rapidly. Yeah, but the enemies do they are the do the enemies move faster too. Yeah, they're they're like charging at you at a much more quicker rate. Yeah, so they were, it's like a trade off then. Yeah, you you may move faster, but so do they. Oh shit! I gotta practice. I gotta get better at this game. Now, do you have any like original PS One games? Mm, yeah. Yeah, going going back to the days when they were first released, I have like a whole, a whole um, I have like a whole leather case of them. Oh, so you don't have a, so you got them in one of those um, you know what I'm talking about, like where you like open up the pages and you got a, the discs in there. Yeah, those are uh, one of those old little um CD carrying cases. Yep, I've heard those yeah, actually. I've heard one. yeah, I've heard those actually apparently aren't good for discs because they can like get scratched real easily supposedly. Like taking them out. I saw a YouTube video about that. Cause I used to have my games and stuff like that too. Cause it just saves on it just it just saves on space. Yeah. Most are mostly just bootlegs anyway. Oh, so it doesn't matter, yeah. Cause I yeah. I don't know PS One yeah, games are pretty dur they're pretty durable though. Cause I've got a lot of my games I had they got pretty scratched up and they still ran fine. So they're pretty they're pretty tough. Yeah, I think I remember those too. I, th I think I remember, I think I remember seeing like how how badly damaged one game would be, and you put it, in, you put it into the console, and it would still, it would still work just fine, as if there was like no harm was ever done to it. And plus, we also had like one of those, um, one of those little cleaners, those little, uh, those little console cleaners that they used to that they used to have back in the day. I think it was. I yeah, think the, you, the, you to clean it, up. Yeah, to clean it. up. The, you put the disc in there and you clean it up. Yeah, 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 that one. I know what you're talking about. I think Dad just had one of those once upon a time. Yeah, I remember we used to have one of those. They put the get... disc in and also like clean the console completely. No, he had one where you put like the CD in, it would get rid of like fingerprints and smudge and stuff, so you wouldn't have to like use like, I guess a a, a 
I don't know, use like your um shirt or so, I don't know, like a towel, like a napkin or towel or something. Yeah, PS2 games weren't like that though. PS2s were PS2 discs were like way more fragile, I think. Probably because they're DVDs. You have to be careful because if DVDs get scratched up easily, they'll they're bad to skip for movies. Yeah, that would explain it. I've heard 4Ks are really bad too. Like they're super fragile. You have to be careful with those. If they get like a little smudge on them, they'll skip around. That would explain a lot, because a lot, because I don't even think like a lot of these PS2 discs would be, like, they they wouldn't have, like, not much harm would be done to them, like physically. There wouldn't be much physical damage to the disc at all, but there would still be somewhat of an error. There would always be like an error with the console trying to read the disc. Yep. Like you. You would put it in expecting everything to be fine because everything looks like it's in place. And <laughs> right as the thing is about to start up, you see that that unholy red screen. Pretty much the most traumatic thing you could ever see as a kid growing up playing the PS2. That red screen saying that the disc can't be read. Yep, I think, like I said, I think it's because it uses um, DVDs. But I know Blu-rays aren't as bad because those are uh, they got scratch-resistant stuff on them. That's what they're made out of. I guess... Whoever makes, like, DVD, whoever, I guess Sony, like, realized, you know, or whoever made the Blu-rays are like, maybe we should, like, make these more durable. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand where they went wrong there, because PS1 games, it was never really an issue with them. Like I said, those things, you can get all sorts of scratches and they would still work. Like, the worst thing I had was for Spyro, for one of the stages, like, one of the songs would skip a little bit because of the scratches, but other than that, it played just fine. Oh, that would be the worst part. The freezing, the constant freezing. Now, talk about like one of the music tracks would skip at one part, but that was like, it was know, just pretty I, minor. Yeah, that too, but not to mention the freezing also because yep. it, it would still have some effect, you know? There, there would still be some some effect with, um, with the disc being scratched up a little bit. You know, there would still be freezing. There would be some... Yeah, some delays as well, some lagging. Yeah, it would be the it would be the worst. But as long as the gameplay worked fine, then that's all that mattered. Oh, <laughs> that's really all that mattered. Exactly. I but guess because yeah, I guess because it's CD ROMs. I guess CD ROMs are more durable. I don't know. Or they use their own proprietary stuff. And they might have had like some scratch resistant type stuff too i don't know like i said you're right though like you get all sorts of scratches and they would just run just fine but nowadays like you just can't do that especially with like the 4k stuff like i said if they get scratches on those they'll just skip like crazy like i said apparently they're super fragile like i don't know they must have they really must have downgraded since those days I guess it too. I guess it's because 4Ks hold so much data on them. That has something to do with it as well. I mean, you've had that problem before with the with the the 4K. I don't. I've just heard that's an issue. Like the worst thing I've had to deal with is um disc rot on a couple of DVDs. You you know what that is, don't you? Where the it just doesn't work at all, or it'll work. Like if you're trying to watch a movie and it'll work. But then it'll get to one part and it'll just like stop. It'll just go back to the menu, like freeze up. Oh yeah, that, that, yeah, that just about serves a memory or two. Cause I watching, got a uh, watching a DVD on the DVD player and hardly the only thing that would actually work was the main menu, hardly the movie at all. Anyone remember Rugrats? They made a retro style game as and the demo was out on Steam. Yeah, Rocky. I, I think I seen an article about that. I could do Rugrats game. I think it's on like place uh, the all the consoles. I know it's on PlayStation. I used to have a Rugrats game when I was a kid. It was uh for the for the N sixty four. It was called Rugrats Scavenger Hunt. I had that one too. Yep, was that is like a board game type thing. Or that might have been a different one. The one I had was like a you know, like going around like a board. Yeah, it was very much like that. Yep, I think it's the same one. Where you're like navigating through a board, like jumping spaces and all that. Yep, that's the same one. Yeah, and it takes place like in this, uh, you know, like in the temple, like the, like the old uh, Mayan temple and stuff like that. I think there was one that was like um, underwater and like a sucking treasure, and there was one like in a volcano or something. No, it was like was a volcano like in like a 
world with like candy and stuff. It's been so long since I played it that, so I don't exactly remember. I know, I know. It's been it's been so long for me as well. Like, man, this was this was during. I think this was still during the N sixty four's heyday. I haven't, so play, I haven't played it in at least twenty, years. probably in over twenty years. Yeah, I know. It was a, it's a, it's it's a bit of a blur. Yeah, it's like a blast from the. Yeah, it's kind of like Mario Party, but like nowhere near as good. Like it does have like the mini games and stuff. Wait, did you have any of the the N sixty four Mario games like Mario Kart sixty four? I had I, Mario Kart sixty four, Mario Party one, two, and three, and uh, Mario Golf. Yeah, Mario Kart sixty four though that was that right there was a was a blast. That, that was a blast to play, you know, in co op mode. Oh yeah, it was. Yep. I start saying. I think I'm gonna get off now, Lewis, because I'm. I gotta go take a shower and get ready for. Uh, yeah, yeah, I gotta get. Yeah, I gotta get off too. Yeah, thanks for stopping anyway, by, good. though. Yeah, great stream, by the way. Oh yeah, and thanks for everybody else for stopping by, and I will um, see y'all next time. See ya. Yep, see ya.